tried to do this gracefully, but you never know. How long have we been in town waiting on weather, Austin? I feel like about two months, but I think it was only a week. Almost a week. But we're going to make it to camp. Steaks, Steaks and, bacon, yeah. ham, and uh, pulled pork. And you already divided the bacon mm -hmm. out there. You divided the steaks. Mm -hmm. You got everything divided for mm -hmm. them to have a base camp. Then we're good. I'm just making this up as I go. <laughs> It's stressful for me because I don't want to say it wrong, you know, but um, I really feel like there's going to be two up here that's going to make the grade. Cool. So, uh, Let's go kill it. Yeah, let me... Uh, Packing up to go on a little journey here. Scott, you mind introducing yourself? I'm Scott. I'm up from Kansas, and we're going to go find some doll sheep. That's what I'm talking about. Getting lunches made. It's going to be good. We're just going to keep going up here, Scott. Okay. And the idea is to get that furthest mountain to get right under that. Well, you boys ready to go on a sheep hunt? Yeah. Made it to spike camp number one. It's 12.15 in the morning on August 9th. Can't do anything till tomorrow. I'm gonna be good and cozy in my climate tonight. Can't wait to get in. <laughs> Top of the morning to ya. <laughs> day before opening day, Brady. And it's time to go find the sheep so we can kill them tomorrow. <laughs> Well, we're going to go up by this glacier so that we can look back across and see if there's any sheep. We don't want to get too close to them today. The wind's kind of bad, so can't do anything till tomorrow. Did you invite the bugs to this party? I guess. <laughs> I don't know what these are, but they just hatched and came out of nowhere. <laughs> Brady's getting the bugs off. <laughs> what are they, Brady? They're all over your legs. <laughs> Half crow ram, just watching us eat our lunch. Got these crazy clouds coming over. Wind's kind of pushing from the north, but then there's also a saddle pushing wind from the south. It's creating a little spin right up to the sheep where they can smell everything from both directions. 
sheep seem to always live in the toughest place that they can be. They know. My day before opening day, good luck beef pasta marinara. Gotta love it. A little bit foggy. Good morning, Foggy Lens Brady. It's opening day. We've reached a point where everything in Alaska is just wet. There's no such thing as, are you wet or are you dry? You're just wet. But if you have good gear, you're at least comfortable. of 36 years <laughs> coming up here when I was 20 and <laughs> good job couldn't do it back then I'm just happy I was able to it's always nice when you shoot a ram you just know it's legal such a beautiful old ram we're letting Scott walk up to it first let him put his hands on it we got it Brady That. Gee, thanks. <laughs> you did great. Yeah, oh, that was fun. So, you want to see how old he is? Yeah. Eight. There. Now oh, it gets difficult. I would say nine, ten. They'll give him ten. You think ten? Ten and a half. Yep. Oh, that they slow down. Because they much. have to slow. Oh yeah, they'll just stack. A thirteen-year-old ram only grows that oh. much more. Oh no way. Huh. Uh. Well, this was supposed to be a big dramatic video about how difficult it is to get a sheep. Well, you're going to have some serious editing to do, bro. Because <laughs> you made it real easy. Smart, Brady. Smart. This ain't always easy. This is my 24th ram that I've guided in 10 years. So, 
Brady's supposed to make me humble in this video, yeah. but it ain't our first rodeo, is what I'm saying. We're having sheep tonight! Put a 90 pound pack on and walk over to this rock. There's a good idea. 13. Woo! Even muffin topping, we got her done. Last Good All Sheep Guides went four for four. Opening day. Miracle. Great weather. Oh man, the great land. Another day in paradise. Quick. Luke and Brady are going to run back up, see if they can uh, retrieve the rest of the sheep. But we got a charter lined up. It's the second day of the hunt. Bluebird sunny, so we're gonna try to get these guys out of here as fast as we can. It's fun to stay up here, it's beautiful country. Some hunters wanna stay longer, but trust me, once you've been stuck here a week, you take every chance you can get to get out of the field. See, he's much better at that than I am, man. <laughs> Let's do it, buddy. Fresh blueberries. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, I can't say that. I said, we gotta tell Austin not to be a Sally and let's stay in here about a week and let's go hunting and uh, go find one of these nice dull rams to tip over. It's kind of a lot like that one you guys got. Thanks to some nice weather, we were able to get Scott on his way home. So we have decided to allow Luke Cranny from Idaho, one of our packers, helpers, and, and friends, to go on a sheep hunt of his own. 